Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravind Jangit here, your electrical faculty and in this video I am going to talk about the calculations of AC and DC harmonics. So we will start with some of the points which are listed here. So let's read first one. So if I talk about the first one, it is saying that let us consider the 12 pulse converter unit. So this is the basic the 12 pulse converter unit having the 6 pulse thyristor unit. This is the 6 pulse thyristor unit which are connected in series. And here this the current is actually the ID. These are the converter transformers. So from the one line we are having a current which is the IA1 and another is the current IA2. And the total current is coming out to be IA which is actually divided into IA1 into IA2. Now, neglecting the overlapping, neg neglecting the overlapping waveforms are drawn for IA1 and the IA2 and waveform having the symmetry. Okay, so they are having the symmetry kind of like this. So if we, if we eliminate or overlapping, if we are ignoring the overlapping, then this can be drawn by uh, by the simplest and it is also having the uh, it is also having the symmetry about this line and it is symmetry about this line clear so now now next point generally it has the half wave symmetry if you talk about the we we are having the three different types of symmetry odd odd symmetry even symmetry and half wave symmetry so if you talk about this uh, it is actually having the half wave symmetry it is actually having half wave symmetry so that the harmonics of even order can be eliminated. So it is having the even order harmonics which is which are actually the absent. That's why I have taken the half wave symmetry. So I can write by these uh, waveforms I can write that IA1, IA1 and the IA2. So firstly we will talk about IA1. So if we talk about the IA1 that is the sigma n a n1 cos n omega naught t and that is the equation number one now if i talk about what is the a n1 what is the a n1 that is 4 upon pi i d 0 to pi by 3 cos n omega t d omega t so this is given here as it is it is a pi by 4 interval so that's why the pi by 4 value is taken there so that is a 4 upon pi i d 0 to pi by 3 cos n omega naught t after the integration of this from 0 to pi by 3 0 to pi by 3 then after the integration you are going to get the sine n omega t upon n and just put the values of here when we will put the values when we will put the values of this then we are going to get the 4 i d upon n pi sine n pi by 3 and what is the sine n pi by 3 according to that we will uh, find out the different values before proceeding to that i can also write that the triple n harmonics that is a an1 is equal to 0 for n equal to 6k minus 1 that is for the triple n harmonics uh, 3 6 9 that is the triple n harmonics so for that an1 is equal to 0 so it is kind of to be the different values of uh, n then th then it will have the different values of a n1 okay now if i talk about the n is equal to 6k minus 1 then a n1 is going to be minus 2 root 3 upon n pi into i t if n is equal to 6k plus 1 then a n2 is going to be 2 root 3 upon n pi that is into i t so that is the value for the say, n is equal to if n is varying from 6k minus 1 and the 6k plus 1. So likewise is going to be happen. Similarly, if I talk about the IA2, so IA2 is also can be written as sigma n a n2 cos n omega naught t. So what is the a n2 that is a 4 upon pi that is a formula for a n2 4 upon pi that is it because we are generally using the Fourier series and likewise we can form that. So it is operating from 0 to pi by 6 2 upon root 3 i d cos n omega t d omega t. This is the integrate second integration is from pi by 6 to pi by 3 cos n omega t upon root 3 that is the d omega t so likewise these are going to be integrated 
so if i talk about so if i talk about this in this way these are going to be operated this is the this is the waveform for i a2 after the integration of this a uh, cos and here the cos the and putting the values we are going to get this one what is that let's read 4 id that is from above and pi and when we will take the integration and putting the values then n root 3 will come out when n root 3 will come out then you will left with the sin n n pi by 2 and here sin n pi by 6 so two values this uh, this thing will be remain with you now a n2 is equal to now it will also have the different for the different values of n a n2 is equal to 0 when n is equal to 6k that is a triple n harmonics and it is equal to plus minus 2 root 3 upon n pi into id that is for the 6k minus 1 that is actually the minus uh please cut this that is n is equal to 6k minus 1 okay now so plus minus 2 root 3 and uh, upon n pi and this is id and for it will be for n equal to 6k minus 1 this is n into n equal to 6k minus 1 now for the positive sign and negative sign what are the significance of the positive and negative sign here if we take out the positive sign here then it is only for the odd values of k if we are taking the negative sign then it is the even values of k similarly a n2 can also be represented in other words or you can say the if n is equal to 6k plus 1 so this is for the 6k minus 1 now we are taking the 6k plus 1 if you are taking the 6k plus 1 then a n2 is going to be minus plus 2 root 3 upon n pi into id so what is the significance of the negative and positive if you are taking if you are taking the negative sign then it is going to be the odd values of k if we are taking the positive sign that is the positive sign then it will have the even values of k so you can say that here the something is uh, uh, changed positive sign we were taking the odd values of k here the positive values we are taking the even values of k so uh, the thing is changed here so please remember and please memorize these uh, things also so up to the up to this we have completed okay now we will move for the next point if you talk about the combined solution of the net current the net current is uh, actually will have the ia1 and ia2 because ia1 ia1 will go up to the upper thyristor upper thyristor 6 pulse thyristor uh, portion and it will go ia2 will go to lower 6 uh, pulse thyristor operation so after the combining these values and rewriting and rearrangement and simplification and uh, so you are going to get the 4 root 3 upon pi into id that is a cos omega t minus 1 upon 11 cos 11 omega t 1 upon 13 cos 13 omega t and likewise 23 25 is going to be repeated there plus minus plus minus that is going to be repeated there only that you have to remember and that i have used in the previous so that is come from here so simplifying after the simplification you will have the i10 and the ih0 what is the i10 this is the fundamental or harmonics or you can the, you can say the harmonic values fundamental harmonic value when the mu is equal to 0 the first is representing your uh, harmonic order and second is representing your uh, mu is equal to 0 or overlapping or commutation is equal to 0 so likewise this is going to be 2 root 6 upon pi into id what is that 2 root 6 upon pi into id and this is i h 0 which is i 1 0 upon h what is the value of h if i talk about the value of h h is the harmonic so order of the harmonics will be represented there now let us suppose uh, we have uh, we have taken the case of uh, overlapping angle that is it is written that overlapping angle is non zero when there will be a condition that uh, we as we have taken the overlapping that is mu is equal to zero now we consider that overlapping is not zero and that is a number then that ih can be written as i this ih can be written as ih zero okay a square plus b square minus 2ab cos 2 alpha plus mu 
by uh, the power root upon cos alpha minus cos delta this is the basic uh, formula but we have to remember the only the value of a and b what is the value of a is going to be sin h plus 1 mu by 2 upon h plus 1 what is the value of b sin h minus 1 u by 2 upon h minus 1 this is called overlapping angle this is called overlapping angle and here the delta is equal to alpha plus mu so i can say that is this condition this whole formula this a and b formula this is only valid for the mu is equal, mu is less than 60 when the mu is less than 60 degree so let us take the example alpha is equal to 15 degree and mu is equal to 25 degree so for that 11th and 13th harmonics are reduced to about 0 0.25 uh, iho that is uh, your um, maximum value you can say so i i can write the one note for you that is a magnitude of the characteristic harmonics is also the function of the load current that you have to remember only that thing you have to remember don't go for the curves also the magnitude of the characteristic harmonics is also the function of load current okay guys so after this i have completed so many uh, things please revise and I hope you have understood this topic also. So Tata bye bye and thank you.